morning. Surprise, you're on camera. <sighs> Why am I on camera? <laughs> this is gonna, this just needs to be your tagline all the time. Uh, so we're out here working on the lot. Again, Mike's working on the lot. Uh, cloudy overcast day, but uh, thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about the electrical because we're right up here by the electrical. So, um, let's go over to the electrical for a minute. Okay. I don't have anything to add. But. Yeah, you do once we get it hooked up. So, to get our electrical put in, we had to have a electrical engineer draw up plans right. for us. And um, those plans had to be submitted to the CBA, Central Building Authority. They primarily had to be plausible, not, exa not, not necessarily exact. Yeah, they didn't have to be exact, but we had to justify, especially in our case, we had to justify why we wanted 200 amp service. 200 amp service, which is not typical. We're probably the only ones along here. Well, we were told that, but I really think it's that have not true. 200 amp service. So we had to justify that and um, prove that we were doing the right things with that 200 amp service yeah. for a hookup before they would hook us up. So we had an electrical engineer drop the plans and submit them to the Central Building Authority, and that costs like 1,200. 1500 Belize um, and once that was approved which took about a week and a half to two weeks for the approval process um, then we had to get a certified wireman out here to build this and um, actually the wireman was only required to technically install he the, the, the he hard... Had, he had the, to get the whole thing built. He had to set up on the other side for the uh, uh, meter. There's a meter box over there. He had to install all this up to the top. Yep. And then I think the service people came and brought the wire in and fed it down. And we've got this locked up where I would show you inside of here. but. Um, There was Over no here, reason. With, no reason. with the background noise, I doubt I can hear you. Go, go again. Oh. Anyway, this is just a switch. This is what you're saying. All that is is a disconnect switch. Okay. And it's not necessarily by code. I don't believe that you have to have that. I think it's fine to have a uh, just a breaker panel with a master disconnect on the inside but this is what they installed. Okay. So um, we're actually gonna uninstall that and put a breaker panel with a master disconnect and breaker so that we can divide out to everything that we, because we've got a lot of outdoor locations which we'll be individually uh, sub-paneling and uh, so we need master breakers here to send everything to the sub-panels. And um, before they would hook up our service and actually give us service, um, we had to have the certified wireman install all of this to their specifications, and then they came out and inspected and made sure that that was the case. And then I paid them 200 Belize to actually install the meter, and 100 Belize as a deposit and they turned on the power and came out and hooked everything up and it's a mess it's a pretty bad mess but <laughs> but we have power that's what's important and that's what's important so that's what it took to hook up electricity and here um, at this spot on the peninsula at this spot on the peninsula we have BEL Electric. So that's our service company. They provide the power here. 
And uh, now Mike will run the power back that way so we can use it. And that was it.